So Anne, over the last three years, you've been involved in using the Master Sizer 3000 and in training our new users. What feedback have you obtained from people as to what they'd like to see with the Master Sizer 3000? Okay, so one of the things people ask about is they don't really know what happens to their sample when they put it into the dispersion unit. So have they got agglomerates present that are dispersing? And they, they can look at that on a microscope, but that can take a little bit longer. Okay. Well, Debbie, you're here. You're our analytical imaging uh, product manager. Is there anything that you can offer to Anne to help with the problem that she's just described? Well, Paul, interesting you should say that. I'm sure some people are wondering what on earth is the imaging product manager doing here when we're talking about laser diffraction. Well, I'm really pleased to be here to introduce our Hydra site to you. So this is an imaging device that can be placed in line between your liquid dispersion unit and the laser diffraction cell so that we'll be able to see what's going on. So Anne, have you got a sample that might help us demonstrate this? So I've got a toner sample here that I'd like to develop a method for in the master sizer. Okay. So what I'll do is just pop some into the Hydro EV. So I'm just adding some sample in here and we'll have a look at what obscuration we get up to. So I'll just pop a little bit more sample in there. So when I look at this, I think we've got some large particles present. What do you see on the Hydra site? OK, so yeah, over here on the Hydra site software, we've got a few different views. And first of all, we're going to have a look at the live video view. And indeed, we can see the odd really large lump, as well as lots of very fine particles. So that's a good indication that we've got some agglomerates. If I just return back to the main view, I'm going to grab an image or two of those so we've got something to show later. Um, are you ready to try the dispersion? Yeah, so normally what we do on the mass sizer is add a little ultrasound to try and disperse the sample a little further. So I'll, I'll turn that on and it will get a little bit more noisy. OK, so while that's going, we'll have a look what else we have in the Hydrocyte software. So here we have the size distribution being updated in real time and an elongation distribution and our dispersion index. The dispersion index is a measure of disorder. So as the particles disperse and we get more particles, the frame essentially becomes more disordered and so we see a change in that dispersion index. So the dispersion index is here in green and since Anne has turned on the ultrasound, we can see it starting to steadily increase as those particles are being dispersed. We also have the RSD of the dispersion index, which is looking at the, a rolling set of frames and seeing if there's a change. And there was indeed a small change here as we turned on the dispersion index. What I can do is capture images. And when I do that, that takes an image of all of the graphs and of the live view, and it puts an event into our dispersion index chart. I can also reset those graphs by pressing on the uh, reset chart. So what I can do, we've been dispersing for a little while now, so I'm going to compare what's gone on sort of early on and much later. So if I open up one of these images, we can indeed see there's a few large lumps. So there's definitely some agglomerates in here. Whereas if I take this later one, there's much fewer lumps, much more small particles. I'm just going to take those two images and compare the results. So overlaying the size chart, we can see there is indeed a shift towards smaller particles. I'm going to take one more and compare that as well. And now we've been having the ultrasound going for much longer. The red at the start and the blue at the end, we can see that the particle size has definitely shifted. We can also compare elongation to see if there's any change. And we can have a look at that dispersion index. So we can see when you put the sample in, there was quite a few changes there. And then as you turn on ultrasound, we can definitely see a steady increase in the dispersion index. Now, it looks to me like that's starting to level out. I'll just have a look again at the live view. It's definitely starting to level out. So what's the master sizer telling us, Anne? So what the master sizer is showing us, as well as the size distribution, it's building up a trend of the D10, D50, D90. Okay. So this trend view is showing us the size parameters against time as we've been applying the ultrasound. So at the beginning, when we didn't have anything on, it was uh, pretty large. And as soon as we turn on the ultrasound, it starts to decrease pretty quickly. 
And we're getting down towards a stable particle size now. The last few measurements show the size hasn't changed a huge amount.